advanced on by Gannon. Burt he got around the corner. He was fouled by Todd, and that's going to be a free kick for Shelburne. That's a yellow card for Todd. Yeah, lovely sharp play from Liam Burt. Soon as Sean Gannon heads that around the corner to foot race, Burt shows he has the has the legs over. The centre half really good play. by John Martin headed back in towards Hooban they got it behind it's a super save Duffy denied by Kearns the flag is stayed down just a little flick on by Hooban and Duffy was really alert so too was the goalkeeper back in towards Hooban and Shelburne hooking away best chance of the game has come to Derry McMullen backs himself out wide and it's Bone who heads it away for Shelburne and he used that little clip ball in there, Patrick Hooban so well, flicks it on to Duffy, you see it here, just flicked up, you see Hooban has a look, he sees Duffy there, flicks it into his path, Michael Duffy is thinking, good connection, get it on target, there's every chance he'll score. Jarvis, fairly quiet so far, it's a nice ball played inside. Duffy trying to get the angle for the shot and it was Bone who was narrowing the angle and in the end he just could not get that on target another opening though they're getting a little bit of joy on that far side and trying to get Duffy in That's brilliant movement from Michael Duffy the ball from Cammy Dunigan is excellent his left foot it's inch perfect from Michael Duffy there you see it first touch is brilliant one-on-one -on -one with Bone you can tell Duffy wants to come back inside Bone does really well to force him onto his left foot narrows the angle Back he goes to Kearns. Gannon to Burt. Oh, cleverly done. And that's going to be a free kick. And it's a yellow card as well. And it's a second yellow card for Todd, and he's gone. We see it again here, Keith. Yeah, I don't think Todd can have too many complaints. This is definitely a yellow card. Nicely done by Jarvis. Driving at that defence. Ward takes it off first time, and it's clawed away by Marr. Sent back in towards the danger zone. Smith is under it. But the whistle goes, and it's going to be a free kick for Derry. But it's taken Shelburne the best part of an hour, but that's their best chance of the game. That's lovely play on the wing. You see when Wood picks up the ball here, always wants to get the strike off. He does so. It's fairly central. You'd expect Brian Maher and the Derry goal to save it. You see the Shelburne fans don't need too much encouragement to get behind their team. Griffin again. Looks up, sizes up his options, then just plays it for Jarvis here's Ali Coote puts the shoulder one way drills it across it was so inviting and Matty Smith couldn't get there but someone in a Derry City jersey did and touched it because it's going to be a corner kick it's excellent from Ali Coote first touch since he comes on really clear talk process wants to get it out of his feet and drive it across the box he does I'm not sure if it's a shot or a cross there's nobody there to take it up. Coote will get it for Shelburne. We feel it's all on this that there is to be a winner in the game. Maddie Smith sends it back goalwards. Derry clear their lines. And there goes the full time whistle for the seventh time in 11 league meetings. Shelburne and Derry City finish in a draw. So it has finished in the battle of the top two at Talker Park. Shelburne nil, Derry City nil.